Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, JDBC transaction management. Uh, inside the transaction boundary, we can execute more than one SQLs. Uh, if all SQLs are executed successfully, then we can uh, commit the changes in the database using uh, connection.commit method. Once uh, we commit that uh, changes, the changes will be applied to the database. Okay. So here you can see connection interface as uh, commit method. Uh, using that we can uh, commit the transaction ok uh, suppose uh, if you are executing uh, 4 SQLs uh, inside the transaction boundary in that uh, SQL1, SQL2 and SQL4 are uh, successfully executed only SQL3 is uh, not successfully executed it is failed then what we can do is we can uh, roll back the entire changes uh, using uh, connection dot rollback method so that uh, changes won't be applied to the database ok uh, here you can see uh, rollback method which is there in the connection interface using that we can uh, cancel the transaction ok uh, so as per uh, transaction management the important thing is uh, if all SQLs are executed successfully within the transaction boundary then uh, apply the changes to the database if any one SQL is uh, not executed properly or uh, failed then uh, don't apply the changes to the database so this is the important thing ok uh, by default uh, JDBC connection is in auto commit mode uh, meaning each and every SQL statement is committed to the database upon its completion ok suppose if you want to manage your own uh, transaction then what you have to do is uh, you have to make uh, auto commit as false how to do is uh, there is a method is there in the connection uh, interface using that you can do the method is uh, set auto commit you have to pass uh, boolean value ok uh, by default uh, the boolean value is uh, true uh, if you want to manage your transaction you have to make it as false ok and uh, here you can see the diagram uh, this will be the initial state and uh, inside the transaction uh, you can execute uh, multiple uh, SQLs if all SQLs are uh, successful then we can uh, commit the changes in the database so transaction will be succeeded uh, suppose uh, any one of the SQL is uh, failed within the transaction then uh, we can roll back the entire transaction so in this case uh, transaction is uh, failed ok uh, transaction represents a single unit of work uh, the asset properties describes the transaction management well uh, in asset A stands for atomicity C for uh, consistency I for isolation D for uh, durability uh, atomicity means either all successful or none uh, consistency ensures bringing the database from one consistent uh, state to another consistent state ok and isolation ensures uh, one transaction is isolated from other transaction and uh, durability means uh, once a transaction has been committed it will remain so uh, even in the event of errors and uh, power loss etc and uh, this is about uh, transaction management and uh, thanks for watching bye